Hello and welcome to this World of Tanks tutorial with me Antonov2. Now you may have noticed that it doesn't say Antonov2 up here, it says Painkiller LPS. Now that's because I've created a second account just for this video. Now I know Wargaming doesn't really allow that and they always make a big fuss about that they delete double accounts and so on. But I don't, can't imagine that they find out uh, that I've got a double account and how they would find out so I just take the risk uh, because I think it's more realistic and better to understand for the beginners um, if it looks like the same in my garage as it looks in say your garage when you first of all open the game for the first time uh, now there will be a pretty obvious difference all the same and that's my my garage exterior which is pretty shiny and futuristic now that's because I've installed an extra mod which gives you a nicer garage um, so that doesn't really change anything about the game or something like that it just just looks nice now this will just be an absolute basic tutorial so for those of you who uh, know a bit about this game already, you've already mastered the basics, just skip this tutorial because it's just going to be for the absolute beginners. Um, yeah, so for those of you who don't know yet, although probably all of you you do, uh, World of Tanks is an action MMO, uh, it's free to play, but uh, you can get uh, extra in-game currency uh, in exchange for real money and if you go on playing this game for a while I bet you you will because it makes you really addictive this game now when I first of all started out I p kind of promised myself that I would never spend a single penny on this but uh, now I've already spent almost 40 euros so yeah it just kind of uh, yeah you really get addicted but uh, it's I think it's a really nice game now one reason for that is because it isn't a play to win and um, although it's free to play and you get certain advantages by investing real money uh, you can be just as successful uh, without paying money in this game now I think that's really good now the main feature in World of Tanks is this battle button here now what it does and when you hit this battle button it just um just propels you into a random battle where uh, your team that consists of 15 players will be facing another team that consists of again 15 players and yeah you just fight and you try to shoot as many enemies as you can and depending on how well you perform in that game you get uh, experience points and credits with these experience points and credits you can get better tanks and um, so the way you do that is you go to this little button here it says tech tree in the menu and you click here and you come to these tech trees now you've got six different nations you've got the Chinese the French the Germans the British, the Americans, and the Russians. Now, uh, in these tech trees, there are five different classes of tanks. There, are, first of all, TDs. They're like sniping tanks uh, with awesome guns, but usually they don't have a turret. Then there are medium tanks. They're like kind of close-up brawling tanks, and that are pretty fast. Then there are heavy tanks which are pretty slow heavily armored have got decent guns and yeah they're just kind of the, the main uh, body of the attack usually then there's artillery if you're in an artillery you can see the battlefield from a bird's eye perspective and shoot enemies like that and then you've got light tanks they are kind of scouts so what you do is you run around the battlefield and uh, spot enemies for your allies and these tanks usually haven't got any armor at all 
um, they've got not very good guns but they're like really really speedy so these tech trees are divided into different tiers and they're all together 10 different tiers now if we quickly go back to our garage um, we've got six tanks at the beginning now all these tanks you get at the beginning are tier 1 tanks now these are kind of starter tanks so uh, you, your repairs don't cost anything and your ammo doesn't cost anything and you don't but you don't really earn all that much money with these tanks either and they're free to get but uh, sticking with these tanks isn't all that much fun so yeah what you really want to do is you want to grind your way up these huge tech trees and yeah get better tanks so you can always see this um, this little star sign that stands for experience points and it always says how much experience a tank costs and you can research the tank with that uh, experience you've got and then you can buy it with the credits there's not only this big tech tree but every single tank has got its own separate little tech tree this is the tank we've got at the moment the ms1 that's yeah the tier one russian tank so if you left click it we come to this tech tree now um here you can research certain modules of this tank so you can research um tracks, motors, radios, guns and turrets. Now if you improve your tracks that's gonna buff your maximal speed and your traverse speed. Your motor will improve the acceleration. Your radio will improve your signal range. So your signal range is if you if you spot an enemy on the map say and your ally is too far away to see this enemy but he's in your signal range then you can transmit his position to your ally so yeah, that can be pretty useful especially in scouting tanks and then your gun obviously improves your firepower and your turret improves your view range and your health and your turret armor so then after you've researched all of these uh, modules or some of them you don't have to research all you can research the next tank and then the next one and the next one and so on and so on so you research um, by right clicking onto the module you want to research like say this 20 millimeter uh, TNS H gun you right click it and now if I had enough experience I could research it it costs 35 experience but I haven't got enough experience so I can't click here but if I had enough I could click here then I would have researched it and after I'd researched it if I had enough money I could buy it and mount it now if you mouse over a module or a tank you've got kind of a calculator which tells you how much experience and how much credits you still have to earn till you can fit this module and it works the same with tanks concerning currencies in the game there are three different currencies there's uh, experience points which you need for researching after you've researched your vehicle you can buy it with credits and you can see your credits up here and then in exchange for real money you can buy gold and yeah you can get a whole pile of cool stuff for gold like say premium account which lets you progress faster or uh, you can exchange your gold for credits or experience stuff like that now um, with every game you not only earn experience down here but you earn a little bit of free experience as well and your free experience is marked up here now the way that works is after a game the credits you earn say if I earn 200 credits with this tank I could buy something on 
this tank with them. But if I earned, say, 20 experience points on this tank, I couldn't research anything on this tank, for example, with that. But with free experience, you can apply free experience on any tank you have. So, yeah, that can be pretty useful. In this menu up here, except for the buttons Garage and Tech Tree, there's a button Depot, and if you click it, you come to your depot. So in your depot, uh, you can sell stuff you don't need anymore. So all the stuff that you don't need anymore is dumped into your depot, and you can sell it and get credits for it. So you can sell vehicles, modules, and so on. In the store, you can buy tanks and modules and shells and so on. I think the store isn't very necessary really because everything you can buy in the store you can buy in the tech tree or somewhere else but uh, yeah you have to set decide that for yourself. In the service record uh, you can see your personal details. Now as I haven't had any games on this account yet uh, it doesn't say very much here, but it says your uh, it says how m in how many battles you participated and how many victories you had, how many defeats, you know, that kind of stuff. Then it says uh, in which tanks you had how many battles and what victories you had in them, and it says your name and your clan if you've got a clan, and you can earn kind of medals, and these medals are listed up here, and then there's the barracks. Every tank has got soldiers on it and in your barracks you can, yeah, you can check out on these soldiers and uh, you can dismiss them or send them to another vehicle, stuff like that. If you've got a tank selected, the soldiers in this tank are always shown on the left corner here. Now there are five different types of crew. There's the commander, then there's the driver, the loader, the gunner, and the radio operator. And every um, every crew member uh, has got a certain level of experience. When you buy this tank, a tank, you, your crew has got an experience level of 50%. And with every game, your crew will learn more. So that at the end, you've got 100%. When your crew reaches 100%, and you're not done yet, because you can learn extra skills and perks. And the way you do that is just supposing this guy had 100% experience. Then I go to his personal file, and then I go to skills, and then I can choose a skill. Now every crew member can train one of these four skills Repair, Camouflage, Firefighting and Brothers in Arms and then there are different skills that only occur for a certain type of crew so say these skills here you can only learn with your commander while uh, with your driver you've got other specific skills that you can learn. Uh, I'm gonna really do another tutorial especially on crew and skills and perks and so on later on because that's a pretty interesting topic and a topic where some of you will probably be needing or wanting some advice so that's what I'm gonna give you in a later video. Yeah, now down here what you've got here is you've got all your five modules and if you click those modules you can choose what module you want to fit then beside that you've got complex equipment now um, equipment uh, you click here and you can choose um, an equipment now this equipment is very very efficient but it's very expensive as well I wouldn't mount 
this equipment on a tank that's lower than tier 7 or 8 because it just isn't worth the money. Then another thing you've got is the service. Now what I would recommend to you is to make sure that you've got these two boxes ticked. What that does is after your battle your tank is automatically repaired and your ammo is automatically replenished. You can choose uh, between three different types of ammo in World of Tanks usually. You've got armor piercing ammo uh, which has got a high penetration and uh, medium damage. Then you've got premium ammo which you can buy for gold or for a lot of credits and that has got a medium damage but a very very high penetration potential and then you've got high explosive shells and high explosive shells have got a uh, very high damage but low penetration potential and high explosive shells can uh, with high explosive shells if you say hit the ground beside the tank you can still damage the tank and it even damages the tank if you don't penetrate so yeah I'd recommend you to usually use armor piercing, piercing shells because your premium shells they're just far too expensive and high explosive shells usually just aren't very good then down here you can buy consumables so if you click here you can choose from these consumables here now you've got a few consumables which you can only purchase for gold but others you can purchase for credits now consumables are a very very good thing to have especially these three consumables at the bottom now in a battle stuff like modules like your motor or your gun can be damaged or crew members like say your commander can be killed or your tank can even be set on fire and if you've got one of these or all three of these uh, uh, consumables which is the best combination to have I think then that's less likely to happen to you or if it happens you can you can you know reverse it again so I would fit these and then of course tick this button because then they're going to be uh, resupplied automatically yeah then this button here exterior uh, you can buy camos so yeah camos they bring you five percent more camouflage in the right kind of map but if you've got say a summer camo uh, it doesn't help you on a winter map or a desert map and it's it's not uh, it's not the best thing to buy I, I wouldn't I would spend my gold on other stuff so of course you can if you buy it for say only a month or seven days you can buy it for credits but it's really expensive so I wouldn't recommend you to buy that either some of you may be asking yourself why I haven't shown you any gameplay or told you how to actually drive your tank or something like that now the thing is in the next update like world of tanks is usually updated every one and a half months or so in the next update there'll be a little button up here and we'll say battle tutorial and you'll be able to do this tutorial and it will just show you how to drive your tank and so on and this update will be released any day now so uh, I don't really think it's worthwhile to show you uh, how to drive your tank because it's far easier to just do it with this tutorial button that will be added soon um, now in the meanwhile I've uploaded a video an uh, extra video which will show you how to drive a tank uh, it's called world of tanks battle tutorial so if you want to know more about yeah, how to kill enemies and drive a tank just check that video out and then yeah as I said I'm gonna be uploading a whole pile of other videos soon tutorial videos um, concerning specific parts of your garage like explaining crew skills or say gold or stuff like that so yeah, watch out for those, and yeah, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.